It's going to be a lot easier to get to the games in East Lansing next year. MDOT plans to add another lane to the southbound side of US 127, which is similar to the work done on the northbound side this summer. And as Anna Saunders reports, drivers won't be the only ones benefiting from the work. Summer construction on northbound 127 was a success. Everybody that we've heard from so far since it's reopened has been pleased having that additional um, lane between the 496 ramps and M43. So next summer begins part two. We will be adding the auxiliary lanes in the same, basically the same two locations along southbound US 127. It'll be between Lake Lansing Road and Grand River, and then between essentially Saginaw Street and the 496 ramps. Except this time Time, there will be another big change happening sometime after construction begins. This noise wall will extend from where I'm standing just a quarter mile south from the Lake Lansing exit all the way down to Saginaw. The wall, proposed to go up on both sides of US 127, can't come soon enough for Raymond Perez. You can hear cars that go over the highway. Whose apartment is just yards from where it ends off Homer Street. I think it's a good idea. It gives people more incentive to move into the neighborhood make quieter, more uh, homebound. To make sure the neighborhood is just as excited about adding the noise walls as Perez is, MDOT is holding a meeting next Wednesday when everyone can share what they think. We will have comment sheets available. People can give their input. There will be no formal presentation, just informal. Show up whenever you can. If there is not a lot of negative feedback, construction will begin on the noise wall, most likely in 2014. In Lansing, Hannah Saunders, Fox 47 News. Again, that meeting will be in the gym of Pinecrest Elementary. It's next Wednesday. You can show up anytime between 4 and 7 p.m.